Greetings, in today's video we will discuss about a book called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Stay with me till the end of video for bonus fun facts. The Power of Now is a spiritual guidebook that aims to help readers break free from their ego-based thinking and achieve a state of presence and inner peace. According to Tolle, most people are stuck in their minds, either dwelling on past events or worrying about the future, and are unable to fully experience the present moment. He argues that this leads to suffering and dissatisfaction in life. Tall's central message is that the key to happiness and enlightenment lies in mastering the art of living in the present moment. He encourages readers to let go of their attachment to thoughts and emotions, and instead focus on the present, accepting what is without judgment or resistance. He suggests that by doing so, one can access a deeper sense of peace and clarity, and ultimately transform their entire way of being. Throughout the book, Tall draws on a variety of spiritual traditions, including Buddhism and Christianity, to illustrate his points. He also shares personal anecdotes and practical exercises to help readers apply his teachings in their own lives. Overall, The Power of Now offers a profound and transformative perspective on the nature of consciousness and the human experience. It has become a popular and influential work in the field of spirituality and personal growth. Sure, here's a brief overview of each chapter in The Power of Now. Chapter 1. You are not your mind. In this chapter, Tall introduces the concept of the voice in the head, and how it constantly narrates our experiences, creating a sense of self. He argues that this voice is not who we truly are and that we can learn to disidentify from it. Chapter 2. Consciousness, The Way Out of Pain. Tall discusses the nature of pain and how it arises from our attachment to our thoughts and emotions. He argues that by becoming fully present in the moment, we can transcend this pain and find a deeper sense of peace. Chapter 3. Moving Deeply into the Now. This chapter explores the idea of surrendering to the present moment and allowing ourselves to be fully immersed in it. Tall suggests that by doing so, we can connect with a deeper sense of consciousness and find a new level of clarity and inner peace. Chapter 4. Mind Strategies for Avoiding the Now. Tall discusses the many ways that our minds try to avoid the present moment, including through distraction, addiction, and obsession. He suggests that by becoming aware of these patterns, we can start to break free from them. Chapter 5. The State of Presence. Here, Tall describes the state of presence, which is characterized by a deep sense of inner stillness and calm. He explains that by learning to access this state, we can cultivate a deeper sense of awareness and connection with the world around us. Chapter 6. The Inner Body. This chapter explores the concept of the inner body, which Tall describes as the portal to the present moment. He suggests that by becoming more aware of our inner body sensations, we can deepen our sense of presence and access a greater level of consciousness. Chapter 7. Portals into the Unmanifested. Tall discusses various portals that can lead us to a deeper sense of consciousness, including nature, silence, and surrender. He suggests that by embracing these portals, we can begin to connect with the unmanifested, or the realm of pure consciousness. Chapter 8. Enlightened Relationships. In this chapter, Tall explores how we can cultivate deeper, more meaningful relationships by learning to live in the present moment. He suggests that by letting go of our ego-based thinking, we can connect with others on a deeper level and find greater fulfillment in our relationships. Chapter 9. Beyond happiness and unhappiness there is peace. Tall argues that true happiness and fulfillment can only be found by transcending the duality of good and bad, happiness and unhappiness. He suggests that by embracing the present moment and connecting with our true nature, we can find a lasting sense of peace and contentment. Overall, The Power of Now offers a comprehensive guide to living in the present moment and accessing a deeper sense of consciousness. It provides practical insights and exercises that readers can use to apply these teachings in their own lives, and has become a seminal work in the field of spirituality and personal growth. Here are some key takeaways from The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. The key to happiness and fulfillment lies in mastering the art of living in the present moment. The voice in the head is not who we truly are and can be disidentified from. Pain arises from our attachment to thoughts and emotions and can be transcended by becoming fully present. Surrendering to the present moment and allowing ourselves to be fully immersed in it can lead to a deeper sense of consciousness and inner peace.
Mind strategies for avoiding the present moment can be overcome by becoming aware of them. The state of presence is characterized by a deep sense of inner stillness and calm, and can be accessed through various portals. True fulfillment and contentment can be found by transcending the duality of good and bad, happiness and unhappiness. By embracing the present moment and letting go of ego-based thinking, we can cultivate deeper, more meaningful relationships with others. Our inner body can serve as a portal to the present moment and deeper levels of consciousness. Connecting with the unmanifested, or the realm of pure consciousness, can lead to a greater sense of clarity and inner peace. Overall, the key takeaway from, the power of now, is that by learning to live in the present moment and connect with our true nature, we can access a deeper sense of consciousness and find lasting fulfillment and inner peace. Here are some fun facts about, the power of now, and its author, Eckhart Tolle. Eckhart Tolle was born in Germany in 1948 and spent much of his early life studying philosophy, spirituality, and psychology. Before writing, The Power of Now, Tolle spent many years living as a recluse in a state of deep meditation, during which time he experienced a profound spiritual awakening. The Power of Now was first published in 1997 and has since become a worldwide bestseller, with over 5 million copies sold in North America alone. The book has been translated into over 30 languages and has been endorsed by many prominent figures, including Oprah Winfrey. Tall's teachings have been compared to those of other spiritual leaders, such as the Buddha and Jiddu Krishnamurti. Tall has continued to write and speak about spirituality and personal growth, and has published several other best-selling books, including A New Earth, and Stillness Speaks. Tall has also been featured in numerous interviews and talks, and has worked with a variety of organizations and individuals to promote spiritual awareness and personal transformation. In addition to his work as an author and spiritual teacher, Tall is also an artist and enjoys painting and drawing in his free time. Tall's teachings have been described as a fusion of various spiritual traditions, including Zen Buddhism, Taoism, and Hinduism. Despite his international fame, Tall remains humble and continues to live a simple and reclusive lifestyle, focusing on his work and his spiritual practice. Thank you for watching this video, hope you find it useful to develop Better You Better Me. If you like this video please like and subscribe, and don't forget to check my other videos.